Hi, so if you're a food manufacturer and you're worried about shelf life of your products, then this video is definitely for you. Whenever you launch any new product or you're getting into a food business and you want to sell it on the shelf, two tests are mandatory by FSSI. One is a nutrition labeling and other one is shelf life. In this video, I will actually explain how shelf life is done, what it is and how you can get it done. Normally, as a food manufacturer, you need to have an expiry or best before date for any product which needs to be printed on the product label. How that is done is you need to approach any lab which is an NEBA lab, if it's an approved lab to do this testing. For example, say if you are a manufacturer of chips and your expected shelf life is say 6 months, we typically divide the shelf life study into phases which will help you determine the exact shelf life of the product. Shelf life has a two types, one is a real time and second one is accelerated. Real time is done for any products which are perishable in nature and have a shelf life less than one month. What real time means is that you give me your product, I cannot fasten or accelerate any process. I will have to actually keep it for the real time and get it done. In acceleration, what that means is we can fasten or quicken the entire process to get the shelf life. Taking or continuing the example of chips, if you are a manufacturer of chips and you have a shelf life of 6 months, we will actually accelerate the study and let you know that if the product has a shelf life of 6 months or no. How that is done? On day 0, the day you manufacture the product, I will collect actually 4 packs from you. We will do a day 0 test to understand the product on the day it is manufactured. We will do a 3 months, a 4 months and a 6 months test. Why 3, 4 and 6? Say 3 months your product passes, 6 months your product passes and say 8 month it failed. At least you know your product had a shelf life up till 6 months time. These intervals are called phases which actually help you determine the exact shelf life. They help you save time, money and efforts in the process of determining shelf life. Coming on an acceleration, what that means is we have a chamber where we increase the temperature to the worst conditions possible. So, if your product lasts a week inside that chamber, it is equal to one month in real time condition. This is typically how a shelf life is done. For a better understanding, you can actually approach Equinox Lab. We do a very consultative selling. We understand your products. We let you know what could be the expected shelf life, how we will actually, you know, make the entire shelf life plan, and then we do the actual testings. One last thing to be covered is that we cover three group of parameters in entire test microbial chemical and sensory why three because typically a product may be good on the scientific terms but the color may be or you know differentiating or the color may be depreciating hence no one would buy that product similarly a product may be good in taste color and appearance but on the microbial load it may be affecting hence we cover all the three uh, aspects of group just to ensure that you get a proper shelf life and you serve good food thank you